Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Matthew Thornton, a leader of Revolutionary New Hampshire and a signer of the Declaration of Independence, though not necessarily with the rest of the crowd. So Matthew Thornton was actually born over in Europe and traveled with his family as a child to what now we know as Maine, where they set up shop, but unfortunately when he was just nine years old, a Native American nation attacked the area, and Thornton with his family were lucky to escape their house as it burned. They fled to Massachusetts, where they were safe for a while, and he grew up there, but he was a brilliant young man, and he actually studied to become a physician. After he does this, he moves to New Hampshire, and this would be the home for the rest of his life. Not only would he be a physician, but he was appointed as both a surgeon and a colonel in the state militia. Additionally, he would serve as a justice of the peace. Over the years, he made his way up in society and was elected to the provincial or colonial assembly, but... Once the revolution starts breaking out, he becomes president of the Provincial Assembly, which was essentially the revolutionary shadow government the Patriots set up in lieu of the British government still being a colonial overseer in the area. Now, Thornton would continue in this position uh, through a good portion of the war. In fact, in summer of 1775, uh, after the Revolutionary War broke out, but more than a year before the Declaration of Independence was signed, Matthew authors a new constitution for the state of New Hampshire, or the soon-to-be state of New Hampshire, making his leadership uh, bring New Hampshire to be the first state to create a new government independent that of Great Britain. Additionally, he publishes an essay that is printed all over New Hampshire in support of the Patriot cause, and in fact, it's credited with bringing a lot of the wishy-washy people living in New Hampshire over to the Patriot side. Eventually, independence is declared, and New Hampshire does become a state as opposed to a colony, and Matthew Thornton is then chosen as a delegate to the Continental Congress. He arrives in November of 1776, which is about three months after the Constitution was signed, I'm sorry, Declaration was signed, and when he shows up, he says, hey, cool Declaration, do you mind if I sign that? And everyone said yeah absolutely throw your name on there and he does he actually doesn't sign with the rest of new hampshire he squeezes his name down at the bottom underneath that of connecticut now he serves there for a little bit and then ends up going back to new hampshire where he spends the remainder of the war and eventually after the war concludes he essentially retires to be a justice of the supreme court of new hampshire he is still a really important leader in new hampshire even after the war ends eventually he actually retires and uh, moves to merrimack where he has a ferry literally a boat a ferry uh, it goes from merrimack to litchfield and it's important because it actually helps the agricultural community of this part of new hampshire grow for well over a hundred years so not only does he help new hampshire establish itself as a state he helps america become america although he's a little late to that party and he helps develop the agricultural part of new hampshire's future as well matthew thornton is an extremely important founder from new hampshire i hope you learned a little bit more about him today if you did do me a favor and hit like if you didn't hit like anyway i'm sure you'll like a different video if you're new here subscribe i put out videos about the american revolution seven days a week i'll be back with another founder for you tomorrow